It couldn't get more embarrassing for the Mamta Banerjee government than this. The Supreme Court today, hearing the teacher's recruitment scam, called it, and I quote, a complete fraud. This was certainly not music to the TMC's ears. That was hoping that the Apex Court would stay the order of the Kolkata High Court that Mamta Banerjee had called illegal. The Calcutta High Court order had done two things. First, it had said that 25,000 appointments to government and aided schools of teachers and support staff were illegal and that these teachers and staff stand terminated and that they will have to return the salaries that they have earned in the last seven years with 12% interest. Today, the Supreme Court has refused to stay this, which means the termination stands. They will still have to give back their salaries with interest. Then secondly, the Calcutta High Court had asked the CBI to continue its probe and, if required, do custodial interrogations of the masterminds. Now, Mamta Banerjee government feared that this was a ploy to put his cabinet in jail in election season. So therefore, in some relief to the TMC government, the CBI probe has been stayed by the Supreme Court, but only till Monday. But during today's proceedings, the Chief Justice of India orally remarked that prima facie discrepancies were evident in the recruitment process. My guest this evening for a very quick chat, I have Dr. Avra Sen, who is spokesperson of the BJP, Dr. Shantanu Sen, an MP and the national spokesperson of the TMC. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, uh, Dr. Sen, can I ask you how you view what the Supreme Court has said today? This is not the final word, but the Supreme Court has stayed the CBI probe in the matter, which means there is some relief to the Mamta Banerjee government. There is no relief in reality. I would say a few things which are on record mm. today. The SSC has gone mm. to the court and they have mm. said that around 8,000 uh, job seekers are actually the people who have bribed to get these jobs. And now they are saying that they can identify these 8,000 people. But if you take into consideration the judgment of the Honorable Calcutta High Court, it is recorded in the judgment that the state government and the SSC was asked a number of times if they can identify the people mm. who gave bribes for taking the jobs. Mm. And categorically, the state government and SSC said that there is no way they could identify the people who gave bribe for these jobs. What was found was that they had mm. not only destroyed the OMR sheets, but the mirror image of the OMR sheet, the scanned mm. copies of the OMR sheets were also destroyed by SSC. This proves the mens rea, the criminal intention mm. of the SSC and the TNC government. In context, I would also like to uh, make everybody remember that the High Court judgment had categorically mm. said in page number 274 that CBI could take the entire cabinet into custody to go to the ground and find out under what mm. circumstances the cabinet West Bengal took the illegal decision of creating supernumerary posts and keeping these people who had given bribes for getting jobs. Now, in today's time, okay. the, the state government went to the Supreme Court. They have uh, used public money, the taxpayers' money, and they have got an interim stay on what? The cabinet of West Bengal would not be arrested for seven days from now. They had no intention of giving respite to the people but, but, who have faced so much problems due to their uh, bribing and their co collusion. That is the issue. And one more thing. If you Dr. take into Sen, consideration the, fact the is, by the SSD, No, no, the fact is, just a minute, just a minute. The fact also is that the TMC government is saying, what will we do with these 25,000 people? How can we suddenly continue. render yes, yes. them without a job overnight? Is that let what the complete, BJP please, wants? Absolutely For people not to be rendered are. without, 25,000 people to we be are. rendered without a job overnight and then being we asked are. to pay the seven years salary that they have earned so far along with 12% interest? We as a political organization are extremely sympathetic towards the ones who gave exams properly, who mm -hmm. deserve these jobs and who have been working. But the problem here lies with SSC, its modus operandi and the TMC government. Because what they have done is, they have messed up the entire thing. They have deleted all the data. There is no mm. way the OMR sheets can be retrieved. There is no way you can segregate the people who got the jobs properly and the people who got the jobs by giving bribes. And this is all category pointed out by the Honorable mm. Supreme Court today. 
One more thing. If you take into consideration the number of people who give bribes, that is told by NC today, it's like 8,000. And these people, these TMC people, sold jobs at a rate of 15 lakhs minimum for one job. Now, if you make a calculation, mm -hmm. you can understand this major scam amounts to more than 1,000 crore rupees. Where has this money gone? This has gone to the fund of TMC, believe, we can believe. That is why the cabinet of TMC okay. government is so okay. proactive in, in sheltering these people. There is no other way to explain this thing. Okay. And the TMC is caught red-handed and they no, are no, simply I think, in I think the facts are, you know, the facts are in front arrest. of everyone. I think the facts are in front of everyone. The Supreme Court today has spoken about the OMR sheets that you're talking about, has spoken about the result database being destroyed, etc., and is calling it a complete a fraud. Now, the Absolutely. point is that the TMC will have to respond to it. Uh, Dr. Shantanu Sen, just in case our viewers are wondering why I had announced the name of Dr. Shantanu Sen and why he's not on the show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we were five minutes late coming to this story. Uh, so, Dr. Shantanu Sen will not be joining the debate. He says we kept him waiting to for, for, uh, for five to seven minutes. So, Absolutely. there's nothing, nothing I can do uh, for the moment. He Dr. has nothing Sen, to say. He has nothing to defend. No, I'm sure he has a lot what to say. What would he say? No, I'm so, sure. See, see, no, no, I'm I'll sure they have a lot to say because they are saying I, all of that in the thing. Supreme Court. I'll right? tell one thing. They are saying all that in the one Supreme thing. Court. One of their See, arguments saying, is ma? that it was wrongdoing as far as 5,000 appointments are concerned. Why punish all 25,000? So I'm fairly certain, Dr. Singh, they have enough to say. No, no, no. One more thing. I'll just ten, take 10 seconds. A few weeks back, just one or two weeks back, huh. these TMC people had come on your debate hmm. and they have said that Calcutta High Court is sold. BJP has bought Calcutta High Court. This was Correct. the language of TMC just a week back. Mm. Well, now what would they say? Mm. Where will they hide mm. their faces? They are facing imminent arrest. These TMC leaders, these mm. cabinet ministers, the chief minister of Bengal, okay. she is facing imminent arrest. She is fearful okay. of arrest. That is why they have gone to the Supreme Court. They have not gone to the Supreme Court to give respite to these 25,000 people. They have not gone there for that reason. And what would you they know, say now? We'll... They will say that the Supreme Court Dr. is also Sen. sold. How much low they can stoop? No, we, we don't what the they'll defense. say because the spokesperson who was supposed to on the sh uh, supposed to be on the show is not on the show so we'll just wrap this debate but it was good to get your point of view thank you very much thank let's so see much. what happens on monday it'll be interesting to see thank you very much